out to Denver and did a uh, spine fellowship with Rocky Mountain Spine Clinic. And then I uh, joined that practice after my fellowship and I've been with that practice for the past 16 years. My partners and I moved down here and helped open Sky Ridge and get the uh, spine program going. Trained as an orthopedic surgeon in all forms of orthopedics and uh, during my residency I always felt that uh, spine surgery was the most fascinating to me and also the most challenging. So I perform all sorts of spinal procedures and what I mean by that is I operate on the cervical spine, the lumbar spine and the thoracic spine. And I also work with deformity cases such as scoliosis and I deal with fractures and tumors as well. So I pretty much run the gamut and I can work on anything from a spine perspective. And help develop the spine program and I'm very proud of it and I think that the Spine and Joint Center is a wonderful place to work and we have a very dedicated well-trained team and I think the patients do very well because we have a very well-rounded team that uh, takes care of a lot of spine patients and so they know what they're doing and they do a really good job. Um, I think the first thing they can expect and what I hear a lot from my patients is how much professionalism there is at this hospital and as I said before since we do so many spine cases there's not a lot of uh, surprises. Um, everybody is well trained and everybody makes the patient feel very comfortable and they always tell me how at ease they feel and how comfortable and friendly the staff is. Well, I had a patient recently that uh, came in and he had been really unable to walk more than about 100 feet for about four months. And uh, we went through all the preoperative testing and found that he had fairly tight stenosis and pressure on his nerves. And so we uh, went ahead and um, performed a surgery and took the pressure off his nerves and uh, he was so thankful that he could walk immediately after surgery and when he woke up the pain was immediately gone and he actually uh, broke down and uh, cried in the uh, post-operative visit because he was worried he'd never be able to uh, enjoy walking for exercise and going on hikes again and that's why a lot of us live in Colorado and now he's hiking and sending me pictures from the top of 14ers. I've been here for about 16 years so I've got a lot of experience and also I think my team has also been with me for over 10 years, my nurses and my staff. So we like to treat every patient individually because everybody's problem's a little bit different. And I think that we have a pretty good communication with the patient. And I pride myself on taking enough time to answer all their questions and make sure they're completely comfortable with the treatment plan before we go forward. Because I think communication with the patient is the most important thing for a good doctor-patient relationship. With the new surgical procedures today, um, we have had excellent correction and we found that we have much better patient outcome than they used to have 10, 20 years ago because of the uh, new surgical techniques. Patients are usually up walking the next day, they don't have to wear a bulky brace and the success rate for correction of the scoliosis and successful fusion has been very good. So I find some of my most rewarding patients are scoliosis patients. We have a large volume of spine procedures done here and everybody from the nurses to the anesthesiologists to the technicians to the surgeons all work together as a team and we work together a lot and so we're a fairly well-oiled team. At Sky Ridge we like to pride ourselves on number one professionalism and number two I think that we provide a very friendly atmosphere but also since we do so many spine procedures I think the patients feel fairly comfortable because they know that we have a lot of experience and it helps ease their apprehension knowing that they're at a center that does a lot of spine procedures. Well, there's been some new technology that's come about over the past five to 10 years. And one of the things I think most interesting is uh, motion preservation technology. And what we mean by that is instead of everyone having to have a fusion after we decompress their nerves, a lot of times we can put in an artificial disc. And what that allows is for the patient to maintain their motion, but we still have decompressed their nerve and taken care of their spine pathology but with motion preservation technology, they do not lose any motion with a fusion. And also the recovery is much faster with motion preservation technology than a fusion. 